All right, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble this HP laptop model 15-DA0073MS. Right, so I'm going to be removing all the screws from the bottom using a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver. <clears throat> all right, normally there's uh, rubber feet over here, but the customer lost those. So yeah, you have to peel those up. Keep that in mind. I don't know why these screws are all staying attached. Um, they are coming up, but they aren't coming out. So I'll test with the magnet later to see if they'll come out. But anyways, let's go ahead and get all these screws out. <clears throat> if this video helps you out, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Um, again, you want to keep these screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. The way I do that, I put them flat side down like this in the pattern I remove them. So you got like four there, one here, two here, and then four here. <clears throat> and then also there's one here, oops, sorry, three here and then one here. So I'll just put these all in a row. But again, I don't know why these are staying up there. Maybe they'll come out if I try a little bit harder because some of these get stuck. Um, I'll probably have to use a magnet. So let's take a magnet and try and get those out. Yep. Got stuck to my finger. Okay, let's see if these all come out. Oh, actually, these ones stay in. Interesting. What about this? That came out. Hmm. These are kind of stuck, so I have to kind of help pull it with my fingernail, it seems. All right, so I don't know why some of these are kind of stuck in there. It doesn't look like they should be stuck. Okay, well, we'll leave it in there for now. Let's go ahead and take out the other ones. <clears throat> okay, this one goes in at an angle and has a darker top. I don't know if that's because of something the customer did or what, because the size of the screw looks to be about the same. Okay. All right, so we got them all except for these two. Those two are kind of stuck for some reason. All right, next we're gonna remove the CD drive or optical drive. I run my fingernail along here while I'm kind of pulling it and hopefully it will eventually kind of pop out. If you can't get it to pop out that way, um, you might have to use a little needle to pop it open. Okay, so you can use a needle or a pin or even a bent uh, paper clip and just go in that, there's a little hole there. And you can use that to pull that out. Once you get it all the way out, you can grab the plastic things here and use that to pull this out. Okay, and then once you get that out, you can go ahead and close that back up and set that aside. All right, there are some crumbs in here that we're gonna have to clean out. So the reason we're working on this, the customer said the fan is noisy, so likely the fans are gonna be having some weird noise issues. Um, I'm gonna actually tighten these screws down a bit since we're gonna be opening up the computer just so that way the hinge has a little bit more strength, okay? So we're gonna slowly carefully open this up. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna now take out those two screws, okay? Oh, they left it on. Let me shut this down completely. That's not good. Okay. All right, so we'll shut this down. I don't know why people bring me computers um, that they want me to completely disassemble and leave them on, but um, all right, well, now we know it works. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and take these screws out. And I didn't hear anything with the fan, so I'm not sure. The customer said the fan was being noisy. Um, we'll see if it's some dirt or something that's debris that's stuck in there, or if it's actually the fan is bad. Maybe the fan isn't spinning that fast since it was just in sleep mode. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get our fingernails in this gap here between the silver part and the palm rest. Okay, and then I'm gonna push with my thumbs on the back here to pop the cover out just like that. All right, we're gonna close this up and we're gonna just go all the way around doing the same thing. Okay, it's a little bit difficult to get in there, but there you go. Okay, go around to the other side and do the same thing. Okay, this part can be a little tricky. You kind of wanna pull this little silver plastic piece that way because you can see the latches are kind of on top. So you want to pull it that way a little bit to be able to get it out. There we go. Okay. Come on. Let go. It's kind of stuck in there pretty strong. There we go. And last, last two. Wow, 
Wow, these clips are strong. Okay, oh, and there we go. Okay, oh, this plastic is actually broken here. Anyways, <clears throat> let's go ahead and see if we can get this up now or are there other hidden clips inside. I had to push with my thumb here and kind of flex the case in that way. Um, there are some clips somewhat towards the center. Okay, I'm gonna work our way over here. Kind of wiggling this and there we go. Um, let's see, these screws might fall out. Okay, actually these screws have little washers on these that hold it in place. I don't know if you can see those little washers, but there. Okay, we're gonna have to clean this out because it is pretty dusty in here. Um, okay, actually, the issue here is not a, um, I don't think it's a bearing issue. I think something's actually stuck in the fan. So let me get this fan off if I can. Remove this one screw here. Wow, this, why is this screw so tight? <clears throat> Okay, and is that the only fan holding it down? There's also some adhesive here holding it. So we're gonna peel that up. Okay, I don't know why they stuck that down to the foam here, but let's peel that off. All right, and there we go. <clears throat> wow, it's pretty dusty in there. I'm gonna use my fingernails to kind of wiggle this connector out. I know I'm not doing a zoom in on here, but I take these connectors out on everything. So hopefully you can watch one of my other videos to see that. But here you can see, wow, that's a lot of dust and dirt in here. So I'm gonna have to take this out and clean it up real good. And hopefully that will solve the problem. If not, we'll have to see if we can take the fan apart and repair it. There's two slots for RAM here. Only one is in use. If you wanna see, you can pull the two tabs away from the RAM like that. And here you can see it's eight gig PC4 2400T. All right, you can use any PC4 2400T, so if you want, you can even get two 16 gigs. Um, yeah, I think they might even make some 32 gigs, but usually people don't need beyond 16 gigs, so two 8 gigs is plenty. All right, you can just get another 8 gig to match, um, and you wanna have matching sticks of RAM for best performance. <clears throat> All right, so I noticed there's an M.2 slot here. I don't know if it's for PCIe NVMe or M.2 SATA. I'm gonna assume it's PCIe NVMe, but I'm not sure. Um, just because there's a, already a two and a half inch SATA hard drive, it wouldn't make sense that they would put that for SATA if they're going to not do PCIe for that. All right, there's a connector here for this USB port as well as I think that's an SD card slot. Yeah. All right, and that connects. There's this little latch. You can flip this up, the black uh, latch here. And then once you flip that up, you can pull the cable out. But I'm going to leave this all intact because the only issue they're having is the fan. There's also some dust stuck under there where the fan was and dust in there as well. As you can see, there's quite a bit of dust in it. Okay, so we're gonna clean all of that out. You got the DC jack charge port connector here, runs along and then goes underneath, right? You got the LCD LVDS connector coming over here with the tape. If you're gonna mess with this connector, make sure to remove the battery and then open the computer and press and hold the power button for 15 seconds before um, messing with the connector, otherwise you can short it out. All right, battery model number is here, HT03XL. Uh, pretty common HP battery model, all right. There's uh, three screws going along the top, one here, one here, and one here. And then after that, you can actually go under here and lift it up, it'll just pop straight out because these are just slots that it just pushes down on top. Um, these feet do have to go into those slots first and then you can swing it up and down, but um, yeah. All right, the hard drive control board here is on a separate um, connector here underneath the wireless card. Um, you got the keyboard connector, I'm pretty sure, this big one. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be taking the battery out or, or anything else. So CPU is soldered to the motherboard and there's another connector here that, okay, this connector I think is for this and there's a smaller one here under the battery, I believe is for the touchpad. Yeah, it says JTP. All right, and then you got the wireless card there and that's pretty much all I'm gonna go over in here. Um, the touchpad does look like this has some separate connectors here. Okay, but um, yeah, let me go clean this up and I'll be back. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, so I'm back. Let's go ahead and put this thing back together. Okay, so we cleaned off the inside here. It was kind of dusty, it's not so dusty now. All right, and get this fan back in. This looks like it was uh, opened and worked on before, so 
keep that in mind if anything looks different or out of place um, you want to remember how yours was assembled all right so let's go ahead and get this back in okay it looks like this just has a piece of metal that goes into it to hold it in place interesting okay so this actually only needs one screw Okay, and then this tape, I don't know why it's there, but we'll just put it back. All right, so there we go. Pretty simple, pretty simple. Make sure the battery's in all the way. Okay, we're gonna now put this back on top. Okay, just to be safe, let's go ahead and put these hinge screws in. And then we're gonna go ahead and power it up, make sure everything's good. Okay, make sure those are nice and tight. Okay, we'll snap this in and put the um, CD drive back in, optical drive. Okay, make sure you put it the right way. They do sell like hard drive adapters for this, but again, you can add an SSD in that little spot down there. And so I wouldn't change that to a hard drive unless you just want three hard drives in your computer. All right, so we got everything back in. Let's open this up and power it up. <clears throat> It's powering on, so we should be good to go. All right, um, so here it's saying fan system. Let's turn this off. I'm gonna turn it back on. So it is complaining about the fan. Maybe the fan motor is actually bad. So let's turn this on again. And see, okay, it's not complaining about the fan this time. Maybe it remembered from last time when it was having issues. I'm gonna run a few programs to make sure the fan isn't having problems. Um, and we're just going to put this back together. Um, anyways, that's pretty much it. I'm going to shut this back down. Let's go ahead and snap all of this back together. Actually, I want to make sure to shut it down because it's not good to push these clips in while the hard drive is doing things um, because that could cause the hard drive to skip and can cause problems in the future. So it booted up. Let me go ahead and shut this down. Is this touch screen? Okay, let's see. It's kind of slow. I would highly recommend an SSD. It makes it a lot faster. Okay, it is touchscreen. So we'll shut this down. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to close this up now. And actually, we'll have to wait till this shuts off completely. So I can snap all of this back in. We'll wait for this light to shut off. Come on, turn off. Is there a hard drive activity light on this thing somewhere? Okay, I think it turned off now. Oh, the hard drive activity light is on this side over here. There's two little dots. All right, anyways, let's go ahead now and click everything back into place. All right, good. Let's close this up and let's get these screws back in. Okay. and that's pretty much it again hopefully this video helped you guys out if it did make sure to like subscribe share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well if it helps you save a bunch of money please consider contributing a little to the channel every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living other than that that's all there is to this um yep, you're welcome to stay as i put back the rest of the screws um, sorry I didn't show how to remove like all the other components like the hard drive and things uh, it's pretty standard uh, between models so if you're not sure how to remove the hard drive or anything like that you can watch a few of my other videos or just let me know and I'll send you a video of how to remove a two and a half inch SATA hard drive on another model and it's basically about the same thing you just have to look at it a little bit and figure out how to get the tray out but other than that, they're pretty much identical. All right, so let's go ahead and power it up one more time and see if the fan error comes on or not. If it doesn't, we should be good to go. If it does, then we probably need to get a replacement fan because the fan motor might be faulty. All right, so we'll power it up. Okay, press the power button, but I didn't see anything happen. Okay, there we go. All right, screen's lighting up. 
and no fan error message. So we should be good to go. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. All right, let's drop this spike.